Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new 2021 Chevy Silverado High Country. And today, I'm going to review it for you guys. And before anybody says anything in the comments, yes, I am fully aware that I am wearing sweatpants to review a $70,000 pickup truck. I'm sure there's some irony in there somewhere. Before we begin, I want to thank Brown Dob Chevy for allowing me to review this vehicle. For all your Chevy needs, you can visit Brown Dob right off of Nazareth Pike in Nazareth, Pennsylvania, or at their website, browndobchevy.com. Starting out up front on the high country, you'll have full LED headlights, LED daytime running lights, and LED turn signals. You're also going to get LED fog lights on this top trim. You'll also have chrome tow hooks right down there and parking sensors slightly above that. Moving to the grill, you'll have a camera integrated into the front for the 360 degree camera system. And then you're also gonna have gold accents in the grill on this high country. I really think that makes it pop. And lastly, it says high country right up here at the top of the grill. Moving underneath the hood in the high country, this is powered by General Motors 6.2 liter Ecotech V8 making 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. And that is paired to a 10-speed automatic transmission. You know, in the last week, I've reviewed a couple of other Silverados, so I already knew the specs for this engine. I didn't even need to look anything up. Boy, this is gonna be embarrassing if that's not what the specs of this engine are. Moving to the profile of the high country, starting here at the wheels, and tires, you're going to get 275 50R tires wrapped around these really nice 22 inch wheels. And then moving up here, you're going to get your high country badge right there on the fender. And then the mirror is partially body colored with a light integrated into it. And then down here on the mirror, you're going to have a camera for the 360 degree camera system and a puddle light. And then if we move up here, this truck does come equipped with keyless entry so all you have to do is have the key in your pocket tap that and it will lock the door tap it again and it will unlock the door very convenient this also does come equipped with chrome running boards unfortunately these do not power retract like some of the gmc's or the ford products but it is nice to still see those and then moving to the back here there is the really nice bed step included so it gives you much easier access up into your bed Speaking of easier access up into the bed, yes, this Silverado comes equipped with General Motors multifunction tailgate. This is the first brand new Silverado I've seen with the feature. Normally that's reserved for the GMCs, but for the 21 model year, they have brought it to the Silverado as well. Now you might be unfamiliar with the multifunction tailgate, but I am going to show you all of its features. But first I'm gonna go over some of the rear specifications and highlight some stuff back here. First, you're gonna get dual exhaust right there. Then you'll have your tow hitch. Above that, you'll have some parking sensors and your trailering controls, Silverado, high country badge, and your Chevy logo. And then moving up here, there is no handle on the Silverado for this generation. Now it is just buttons. You'll have a camera right here for the backup camera. And then this is a, another light on the truck. So the multifunction tailgate has a lot of functions. Let me show you the first one. So if we tap this top button, the upper section of the tailgate will come down, give you like a nice little workbench area. And then let's say you're carrying some plywood or something like that, and you need a bed extension. What you can do is there's a grab handle right here, and you can pull that up, and it functions as like a bed extender, which is really, really useful. And then what we can do is put this down, put this back up, now this of course does drop like a regular tailgate so you can tap the lower button and it will drop like a normal one as you can see spray and bed liner some spots for cup holders right there but if you want to get into the bed easier what you can do is you can tap the top one and then you'll tap the lower one in quick succession like that and that is actually going to drop the lower section and then all you have to do is push in on this and you've created a step up into the bed. This is genius. I commend GM so much for this. And they've even included a grab handle which flips up and locks into place so you can get up 
into the bed much easier. Now you don't have to pull out the grab handle if you don't want to, but it is very nice to get up here in the bed. While we're up here really quick, there is a camera here for the bed, and then there's also a camera for the mirror. We'll talk about the both of these cameras in a little bit when we move to the interior. While we're up here in the bed, this has a spray and bed liner. You're gonna get LED bed lights, and then this also does have an AC 120 volt outlet in here. So very equipped as well as tie downs, of course. What pickup truck bed would be complete without tie downs. And then you'll also get high country etched into the bed. I really like that as well. And then if we wanna close this all up, all you have to do is pull up on this. That will lock the handle back in place and then we can step down and close the tailgate back up. This is difficult to do with one hand. There we go. And then we are all locked up. Now, if you would like, you can also drop the tailgate from the key fob. So you can tap that and it just drops regularly. It does not drop um, with the step feature, unfortunately, though it is really nice to see the ability to drop this from the key fob. Unfortunately, it does not raise from the key fob. It just drops. I know I'm saying unfortunately, but this is like a brand new technology that has just been introduced and it's crazy. I only say unfortunately because the F-150 on its higher trims does have the ability to raise the tailgate, but I mean, lifting and lowering a tailgate is something that comes with trucks. I prefer to do that. I don't know, it somehow makes me feel manly or something, but um, this only has the ability to drop it. While we're on the key really quick here, in addition to lock, unlock, and panic, you also have the ability to remote start the truck from here. So that is really nice that you can do that as well. Let's move to the interior. Moving to the interior of the high country, this is the place to be. I am a sucker for this light brown color and you're gonna get real wood in here. Let's start with the door panel. You'll get this really nice soft touch leather. Then as I mentioned, real wood right there. You'll get your power window controls. Your front two are automatic, one touch down, one touch up. You're also gonna get the ability to power fold the mirrors on here. I'd expect nothing less from a premium luxury truck as this. You'll get your memory settings for the seats, lock and unlock. And then up here, it is a nice softer touch material as well. I've always mentioned how I like when they do that because most people are gonna rest their arm here, probably less so here. Before we step inside, this does have power seats, of course, with adjustable lumbar, which is really nice. And then stepping up, you'll have your high country badge. And it is so nice in here. Very premium feeling. As I've said, I've reviewed a lot of Silverados recently, and some of the lower trims feel really cheap, and the plastics just aren't there. But I can confidently say that the interior of this truck is so nice, and the fit and finish is just really, really awesome. Now that we're in here, you'll have your trailering controls, your four wheel drive selector and your lighting controls. And then on the steering wheel, you have this really nice like gold texture on here, which is really cool. Just like the grill, of course, every button is gonna be filled on this truck's steering wheel. You'll have your heated steering wheel, your cruise control settings, your uh, forward collision warning, Bluetooth settings, calling and then this is to control the screen in the center gauge cluster we'll get to that in a second but you also have buttons on the back of the steering wheel here for your volume and channel changing so turning the truck on here we're going to look at our massive center screen this gauge cluster is very much improved from the previous small gauge cluster i mean you can pretty much see this was about the size of the previous gauge cluster and now they've made the screen much larger. You have options for your information center, your music, your navigation, your Bluetooth, everything basically you'd wanna see in a truck screen. A digital speedometer is all available in here, which is really, really nice. The steering wheel feels incredibly premium in here and you're gonna get a nice big column shifter on this truck. If we flip it into reverse really quick, you'll see the backup camera the resolution on this camera is incredible. I really think it's awesome. Uh, very, very high quality, despite this screen being much smaller than the other screens in the segment. Hopefully for the 2022 model year, I've heard rumors they are going to improve the interior of this truck even more and give it a larger screen. 
while we're here if you turn the wheel that is going to turn the lines and you can see we have this really nice 360 degree system i'm going to move the truck just a little bit it's so helpful when you're parking um, just because it can basically put you right in the spot that you want to be which is really really useful and then you have a bunch of different modes like you have zoom features down here if you want to see exactly where you are to line it up and then you can go to the side view cameras if you want which is incredible and then you can switch between different things which is really nice you can go to your trailering i mean there's so many options for this truck to switch between cameras it's really really useful and then uh, additionally you can do yes there's there's more here is the bed camera i previously mentioned so this can show you what is in your bed if you're unable to maybe see if you have passengers back here in the second row you can see from here um, that your bed is okay everything's secured and tied down which is a really useful feature and it also has the ability to zoom which is awesome general motors really really knocked it out of the park with all the functionality for these cameras in here i'm going to put it back up here in park for you guys and then we're going to go home um, there is apple carplay and android auto built into this infotainment system it is also worth pointing out that the carplay is wireless and despite being small it is really really quick like you can see how spiffy it is it loads very quickly and that's just very impressive chevy really knocked it out of the park with this infotainment system and you know small but mighty it really works you'll also have wi-fi hotspot built in and stuff like that moving below that you'll have physical controls for the screen and then you'll have your climate controls you also have the ability here uh, i really like the little oh no there's too much air um you have okay i'm gonna do it really quick there's little numbers so you can adjust the exact temperature um which is really nice and then you'll have heated and cooled seats on here i'm going to turn the cooled seats on real quick not gonna lie it's pretty hot outside sweatpants were a mistake it was very uh cool this morning and now it's gotten very hot so i will rate how good the oh these are really nice cooled seats anyway not to get carried away you're going to have lane departure warning right here your parking sensors this is your auto engine start stop feature so if you're at a stoplight it will turn the engine off to preserve fuel economy next to that you're going to have your tailgate dropper from the interior your hazards traction control off this controls your ac 120 volt uh, in the bed and then this is going to put all the windows down at the same time which is really really nice that's a really cool feature not, not something you see all too often especially in pickup trucks that's more of a luxury vehicle feature and then you'll have your trailer brake control right here two usbs a 12 volt and a household ac 120 volt outlet right there below that you're going to have some wireless charging more of this nice wood in here and some storage and then you're going to get this really great armrest with the leather trimming and then you can open this up there is an sd card slot in there usb USB-C and an auxiliary port as well as a light and you get just so much space in here Really really feels premium on the interior of this high country moving up here You have buttons to control your power rear sliding window Of course this includes that and you're also gonna get a sunroof on this truck Unfortunately, no option for a panoramic sunroof you'd think since this is the premium one it would include that but you do get a traditional sunroof nonetheless. And then moving up here to the mirror, this is the mirror camera. So you can switch it between a traditional mirror, hello, where am I, hi, or to the camera if you want. So if, again, someone is obstructing your view in the rear, you can see out this camera, which is really, really helpful. One thing I have noticed is while driving during the daytime, if I have this on, it can get, um, like mixed you can kind of see I'm starting to see my reflection and what's behind me so it kind of can get jumbled because it's still like a reflective surface really good idea I'm sure they're going to continue to adapt that for the future I think every vehicle should have a camera system like this General Motors leading the pack with this very very innovative let's take a look at the back stepping into the rear of the high country you're going to have just as premium materials back here you'll have this very nice leather real wood again and it is soft touch up here and then moving into the seats they are just as comfortable leather again very very cool design on these and in the center here you can actually open these up and there's hidden storage which is really 
really convenient. I love that on the General Motors trucks. And then if we just wanna fold this up, you can just lift it up and you'll have a more flush load floor and some more storage, which is really nice. A lot of trucks in this segment have a pull tab, but what I really like is General Motors. You can just push it back down. It locks into place automatically. And then if we step up into the truck here, I have a lot of leg room. I'm 5'9", and I probably have a good six inches, seven inches of leg room, and I have headroom for days. So no matter your height, this is gonna be very comfortable back here. Maybe unless you're Michael Jordan or Shaquille O'Neal. In that case, hi Shaquille O'Neal, but you might not fit in this truck. <laughs> anyway, moving down here, you're gonna have two cup holders, two air vents, heated seats, USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt. So they're really taking care of the rear seat passengers back here. And then you're gonna be able to fold this down for two cup holders and a spot for a Fiji water. All righty, driving the 2021 Chevy Silverado High Country. This is a great truck. I've mentioned in the past how much I love General Motors 6.2 liter Ecotec V8. I think it's just so responsive. You know, when I put my foot down here on the gas, it just is so quick and it's so much fun to drive. And this interior is really nice. Yes, it is lacking compared to some of the competition. It could use a larger touchscreen. It could use a full panoramic moonroof. But I think Chevy really makes up for that in this truck with the interior comfort level. This is one of the most comfortable trucks I've ever sat in. The steering wheel leather is so nice, very plush on the armrests, and the seats are so comfortable in this truck as well. The view is very commanding. I've always really liked the view out of these Silverados as compared to something like an F-150 or a Ram. I just think it has the most towering and commanding um, view. And the overall feel of this truck is just like burly. It feels like a big trucky truck. And the F-150, admittedly, it feels a lot sportier and more SUV or sedan like and a lot of people really like that and I do like that in certain aspects But there is just something with this Silverado that I just really love I also love driving the GMC Sierra as well That is going to conclude this review of the 2021 Chevy Silverado high country I really hope you guys liked it if you could subscribe that would really help me as well and I am a Christian, so I like to take prayer requests. So if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those in the comment section below. And lastly, I like to do a weekly Bible verse. This week's is Proverbs 18.10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.